although it's Reconciliation Week, I see this as a time to regain your vigour and check where you are. Reconciliation fits in with the Catholic ethos because we have the Sacrament of Penance which is, or Sacrament of Reconciliation, which is about forgiveness and also about accepting forgiveness. So it's a two-way sort of process we talk to our children. It's hard to say, I'm sorry, and it's also hard to say, I forgive you. So we try and embrace those sort of cultures. We're very inclusive and we want to make sure that our children know all about the whole world. Uh, but it was very important that we look at our own country as well as the rest of the world. So we try to get the children to look at the big picture through things like Harmony Day when it comes to multiculturalism, but specifically to understand more about the history of the country that they've come to live in through understanding Aboriginal studies as well. What I think about reconciliation is it, it's like forgiving and forgetting, like say I've done this and you've done this and that was, they, they weren't good things to do so we can both forget and then just be friends again. Reconciliation is when we say sorry to the Aboriginal people. Reconciliation means being friendly. Remembering the past and moving on and to stop racism. Reconciliation means to me like happy and good for you. When two people or more have been into a, have gotten into a fight and they want to forgive each other and so they come back together to rethink about what's happened in the past and how they could have fixed it and how they could have changed it. The white people saying sorry of taking over your land and taking the children from you and we can forget about that and have a better life together. Reconciliation means sort of forgiving and um, just thinking about the past and so that you can reflect on it and make a better future. We're responsible for reconciliation. The government has taken their children away from the families and put into other families for no reason. I think that it's good that we have Reconciliation Week because it's a time where we should remember what has happened but we should also move on. Reconciliation means a lot to me because if anyone took my family away from me I'll be very upset. I could settle fights between the traditional owners of this land and the people who came here, the white people. I hope they don't get kicked off their land and I hope they could share the land and leave and no one gets kicked off. For them to get equal rights. I would change that um, Captain Cook and the people who invaded Australia didn't just take it, they would share it with the Aboriginal people. I would want them to have their land because they got, they got taken off their land for no reason. Well, I hope that everyone in Australia has equal rights and that no one discriminates against anyone. But When the white people came to Australia, they should have worked out something then. That the white people will say sorry and help the Aboriginal people through the rough times. That people start giving them equal rights and they're not racist to them. The English people should have said sorry earlier before Kevin Rudd said sorry. I hope that they all, everyone can just get along and no one being racist to anyone. Even though they, um, they knew that Aboriginals were there, they could just ask if they could share the land instead of just take it from them. It doesn't matter what culture we're from, we should all get along well. Our school is multicultural and most of us all get along. I learnt, like, just more about their culture. I've learnt about how many different cultures are 
in Australia and there's so many different languages. In Australia there's about 512 different language groups. In Victoria there are 36 languages. In Melbourne there's five and we're on the Wurundjeri land. I learned that what sorry day means. In 2008, I think it is, um, Kevin Rudd said sorry to the Aboriginals for taking their babies away and all the harsh and terrible things that they did to them. I learned like all the injustice we did to the Aboriginal people. The Aboriginal people came here before Captain Cook and that Torres Strait Islanders people um, are actually five islands. I've learned um, that they have, they eat like different like kind of food. They eat tree grubs, kangaroo, um, possum and eat berries from trees. I've learned a lot, I've learned all about the days, why they're special, what really happens. There's Marbo Day, Reconciliation Week, Nadoc Week, Sorry Day, the Long Walk. Michael Long organised when he walks to lots of places in Australia to show that he's a proud Aboriginal. Eddie Marbo is um was is a man and he got land rights for for. Murray Island and for, uh, for him and his people that he represented. And we learnt about like the Aboriginal flag and Torres Strait Islander flag. The black means the people. And next to the black there's green, that's the land. White means peace and the star means the five islands. What is the Aboriginal flag made out of? The yellow means the sun. Red is land. And the black stands for the people. In my culture, there's this thing called Vaitika, uh, and it's when your older sister uh, puts uh, rice with yogurt on your head right in the middle and blesses you. In my culture, we have the Pakistan Independence Day, which is on the 14th of August. It's the Christmas, and we try to remember like when Turkey took over part of Greece. Eid is after Ramadan. Um, it's where you go to people's houses and celebrate and give presents, have sweets and stuff. And then you eat like party food and I even have Ramadan. Ramadan is when you fast for 30 days. Can I play? No way. You don't want it. You want that? No way. Stop. No room for racism. Racism is a horrible and terrible thing to do. You shouldn't be mean to people because of their race or skin colour. Just because people have a different skin colour, that doesn't mean they're bad or horrible. Everyone has the same value in life, even if they look different. Racism is pointless. There is no room for racism. Sorry. Apologise. Forgive. Be nice. Helpful. Peaceful. Respect. Harmony. Being kind. Unite. Honest, sharing. One Australia. Future. Walking together. Michael Long. Equal rights. The stolen generation. Coming together. Celebrate diversity. Peace. Forgiveness. History. Respect. Sorry day. Reconciliation. Mm -hmm.